Welcome to New Orleans. Uh, we're coming to you on tape delay from the NFL Media Center here on Monday. Uh, it's the day before, me uh, before the media day at the Superdome, so things are, are getting busier, but they're not quite the insanity that we'll see tomorrow. Um, I got in earlier today, and after seeing the wings get de-iced at Baltimore Washington International Airport, I'm kind of excited about the 70 degrees and humidity that we've got here in New Orleans. Uh, not usually a big humidity fan, but after what we've been through in D.C., I, I am down for this. So, uh, got in earlier, picked up my credential. I would show you the credential, but the NFL does not allow that. I don't think they trust any of us uh, as far as they can throw us, which I don't blame them. Uh, but I did make it over to the New Orleans Marriott where the 49ers conducted some press conferences today. Uh, Jim Harbaugh opened things up, and he was then followed by six players who uh, were doing simultaneous press conferences. Uh, Jim Harbaugh does seem to be getting uh, getting into the groove of these of these media sessions. I think he realizes that he has a week of this to deal with, and so he might as well put up with it. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how he is on Thursday or Friday, but for now, uh, he was entertaining. Uh, at one point, he was asked about President Obama's comments a couple days ago about how if he had a son, he probably wouldn't let him play football. And, of course, ever the competitor, Jim Harbaugh, said that, well, you know, he's got his five-month-old son, Jack, and really, he would, you know, that just means one less competitor for Jack. Uh, apparently, Jack has a really big head, and he thinks once he grows into his head, he could be a great football player. So, take that for what you will. Uh, but then uh, it was interesting after that, you had six players doing their press conferences, and obviously we had Frank Gore, Alden Smith were two of the uh, more popular ones, and it's not surprising that they had uh, larger media contingents around them, but even Bruce Miller was getting 10 or 15 media coming over. They did spend most of their time asking about Colin Kaepernick and uh, just how he's developed, but he did get a few fullback questions, so I'm sure that, you know, I'm sure that made him feel good. Uh, tomorrow is media day. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a wild one. I, you know, we've seen the pictures, we've seen the video. Uh, I can only imagine what it's like being there in person. So uh, I'm definitely gonna shoot some video of my own and hopefully give you uh, kind of a feel for what it's like. And really, that's what this whole video diary deal is about. It's really just to give people an idea of what it's like being at the Super Bowl. This is my first Super Bowl and also my first time in New Orleans. So needless to say. It's going to be an interesting week. So uh, for the 99.9% .9 of you that are unfortunately cannot make it down for hopefully Lombardi number six, I'm here for you. So uh, I'll be here all week with uh, recap videos and other videos. So uh, hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, make sure to check back at 900 Nation for more of them. And, of course, make sure SB Nation is your home for, uh, for Super Bowl content. So we'll see you later.